What's up? My favorite people, my soul fam. Yeah, you, yeah, you. Yes. Um, hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim your light. No one. All right. All right. So if you have, have headphones on, turn them down. If you're uh, not interested in the intro, fast forward. Don't make me no different. But the call will go forward. Okay. Um, some people, it's too loud for some people. So just be warned. All right. My name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for my ride and dance has been rocking with me for what to be from the beginning of my time. Or should I say ride and live from the beginning of my time. Thank you guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. Mwah. Love you for all your love, your support. Thank you for all the ups and downs. Thank you. Mwah. New subscribers. Thank you. I'm honored and welcome. All right. Uh, energy exchange. All right. So for those of you that's been doing the energy exchange, continue to do the energy exchange, continue to donate to this channel. And those of you that want to donate, go to the description box. All the information is there. But just know and remember that here on this channel, what you sow on this channel, you shall reap, okay? So, tenfold, twentyfold, thirtyfold, you shall reap, and it shall come right on back unto you, deem spirit, when spirit deems necessary for you to have it. Also, on the flip side, for those of you that um, is projecting negativity, evil eye, um, you know, trying to send negativity and trying to spend uh to me or to this channel, just know 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 fold right back at you. Okay. All right. So it is so, so bid ashe. All right. Now, um, ring the bell, um, hit the notification bell. If you always want to know what's going on, what's popping on this channel right here all right because this is good ground if you're vibing with me right now and you're feeling my vibe go ahead and subscribe we soul fam we're gonna do this thing all right okay so i think that i've gotten everything if you're here for the first time go to the description box all the information is there for you read it let me know if you have any questions all right so we're gonna go ahead on in the roll we are honored to sign up cancer Bam! There it is, Cancer. All right, Cancer. Like I'm telling everybody else, keep your head up. Keep it moving. Stay positive. Don't let people, places, and things stop, block, or trap you. Bam! There it is. All right, so here we go. All right, so today we're talking about black magic. All right? As you know, if you in, if you if in in if you've been looking and reading on the tarot community, it is rapid. Black magic, black magic. If you're in the spiritual community, black magic. What it is and what is actually going on from the beginning of time, it has been going on, is a spiritual war. Okay. You have people that's projecting and you have people that is protected, okay. You have two forms of people, power struggle, I'm more powerful, you're more powerful, I'm more powerful, but neither here nor there. This power struggle, I don't understand because at the end of the day, well, yes, I do, because this has to happen. It is, it is a uh, destiny. It is supposed to happen. However, if this is happening to you, it's black magic or to people projecting or like I've been speaking to my haters through all these readings I have done so far. You don't let them. You already know the truth. If you already know the truth and the truth is that the victory is already won. The chosen ones already won the war. They've been won it predestined in time. It has already been won. Okay. So people attacking you, 
people attacking your channels, people attacking your work, people attacking your, your, your family, people attacking your body, people personally attacking you, you got to be powerful in your own right by your own self if they come into coming to attack you like that. You have to change the dynamics of how you think and how you see about black magic. Cause it does it really doesn't mean anything. What is a black magic gonna do to somebody that's doing what they supposed to do? You got the you got it you got evil, you got good. Both evil and good, both of them is both you have a shadow side, should I say, and a light side. That's what I should say. A shadow side and a light side, evil and uh evil and light. Evil and good, rather. Okay. Contrast. Okay. You got two forces. Okay. So with that being said, what is it to, what is it to fear? You know who you are. If people coming and attacking to you, trying to, trying to get to you and trying to, you, you should already know who, that you're more powerful than those people or they wouldn't even entertain you. They wouldn't even come after you. You would be an afterthought. You're nobody. Why should I attack you? But if you're getting attacked and people trying to run after you, trying to get at, then you change your mindset. You don't believe the hype. You believe in what you know, okay? All right, so we're talking about black magic, black who, black why, and what to do about it, okay? All right, so cancer. Who? <sighs> now, either way this goes, it can go vice versa. This could be cancer doing it to you or you doing it to cancer. If you doing black magic, then the message that I just said is for you. The victory is already won. If, you, if you're the one, somebody's doing black magic to you, then you need to heed the, the, heed the message. All right, so I'm looking at my time. You got an old soul. You got an old soul. And you got somebody that is attracted to you. Very much attracted to you. Very much wanting you. Very much um, um, have a lot of chemistry. A lot of um, sexual energy. Um This energy, let me look at these cards because this is who. This is somebody that want to be with you. This is somebody that's attracted to, attracted to you, can't get you out of their mind, can't get you, um, they want you, they, they want to be with you, they want to... This is a past person with this old soul. It's a past person that you used to be with. They had a lot of chemistry, a lot of love for you, a lot of sexual energy towards you. Um, this could be anybody. But this is somebody who had a lot of attraction for you. It's a past person. Is this person is an old soul? What do you mean, spirit, when you say old soul? What is this about? Who, who, who? Give me a minute. Whatever, whatever this is, this could be a situation ship, friends with benefits. But whoever, whatever this dynamic, this could be anybody a lover a neighbor a co-worker a friend this could be anybody but whoever this person is had a lot of sexual energy sexual energy chemistry that they wanted that either you and them that's why it could be it this very well could be a situationship friends with benefits because Whatever you gave this person, whatever intimacy that you had with this person, 
this old soul connect with? Old soul. Oh, okay. Okay. Old is was 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 throwing me off. This is a soul, a soul that recognize your soul. That's been, this is an old soul, meaning it's been around. It's been here many, many, many times. But it, it, it recognize whoever this is, fit it in where it get in when I say you. It recognizes your soul. It, this, this person, this, their soul recognize your soul from the past. From a past, um, from a past life, they they recognize your soul, so they 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 that's why the the chemistry to them, the chemistry for them was deep. Um, it was it. This person fell in love with you and deeply in love with you, because they recognized your soul from a past life. It was an old. This this person has an old soul. Fit it in where it get in. You on the other hand, so. If it's not you, you on the other hand could be, this person could have been, this chemistry, this attraction could be unfounded. It could very well be that this person felt the same as you, but look how this, look how this old soul look. Right? This don't look like it's, it's requited. This do. But this is on this this right here has two people in it. However, this is the soul that recognized the other soul. This soul is solidary. It looks, you know, this person, it was it it, it it's making me feel in this energy off of here is that this person, it was unrequited. Their soul recognized. This person, but this person didn't recognize that the other soul did not recognize this soul. They didn't recognize the old soul. It was one, it was unrequited. So what happened here? Somebody friend zoned somebody. Somebody um didn't didn't did not recognize, did not see this person. Did not have this love. Did not have. Look how this person is looking. They even looking away from this chemistry. Now. They looking. They have it. It's bottled up inside. But they're not letting it come out anymore. Because the other person on the other side of this chemistry. Don't feel the same as them. They feel all alone. They feel isolated. Because the person that was on the other side of this chemistry did not did not feel the same they didn't get what they wanted from this person they didn't get the love and the they didn't get the love that they had that the love that they gave out or the love that they wanted from the person they didn't get it from this person this person is trying to figure out what happened trying to figure out what happened what went wrong why does this person not feel this love this soul want to know why you don't recognize me. I, I'm here. Why you don't recognize me? Okay. They trying to figure this thing out. They can't figure it out. So who, it, who, the answer who is, it is someone that you friend zone. You did not, they, they wasn't your type. You didn't see anything, you know, you didn't see anything with them. You, 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 this is, this is somebody you were not attracted to. Um, it's anything unrequited. You, you, you did, you, you, it wasn't that you didn't like this person, but you didn't have the same chemistry and the same, you didn't feel this hot, passionate chemistry for this person. Okay, like they felt for you. So that's who. All right, why? Why? Black magic, why? Black magic, why? Before we even get into to, to black magic, why? It's because this soul feels slighted. 
feel like this soul feel rejected. This soul feel unwanted, unvalued. This soul feels abandoned. This soul feels, how dare you not recognize me? It's me. It's me. How how can I recognize you and you don't recognize me? And the reason and I, the answer to that is because the soul, the old soul, that soul recognized the other person. And the reason why the other person did not recognize that soul is because that's not the connection that was supposed to, that's meant to be. That's not the contract that these two people were supposed to have in this lifetime. This person wasn't supposed to recognize this soul as a romantic partner. This person was supposed to recognize this soul for what the mission is for this time and this season. And this person, this soul didn't want to, didn't want to abide to what the divine had, what, and what the contract they signed when they came down here, the destiny or the original destiny for the soul. The soul wanted to, um, change the dynamics, right? Because this chemistry was so strong and they had awakened to what they felt back then. And they wanted to experience that again. And it was very strong. Okay. All right. So here, why? Energy vampire. Okay. Protection. All right. So why this person is, um, we already know the abandonment and all of that. But why this person is so persistent and can't let it go is because not only did this person recognize your recognize the soul and the chemistry is really, really deep and profound and they want it back. They want to have this experience back. Their soul recognizes your energy. They recognize the, the, when the soul recognized you, it recognized your power, recognized your energy, recognize the, the, not just when I say your energy, this soul recognizes because it's an old soul. If you are a light worker or you are have a mission to, to raise the vibration, your energy is different from other people's energy. This old soul recognize your energy as back in the past of they know it's like what are you trying how to explain it their soul recognized your energy from past cycles ago see because if you're a light worker, you have a, a you elevate a lot of light. You have a mission. You actually trying to go level to level. You trying to learn about your mission. You trying to learn about yourself. You trying to learn. This old soul already knows when they tapped into your energy. When they met you, they knew it was something about you. They recognized that it was something different about you. And as they were with you, they recognize and as as long. And, as the longer you stayed with um, with this person, the longer as you stayed around this person, the soul start to recognize you and recognize who you are energetically. Once they find a re finally realize who you are energet energetically, there this soul. That's where all this chemistry come in, recognizing not just your soul, but in who you are energetically. You don't even know who you are energetically, but that soul knew who you are because it's the old soul and it fell in love, not with just the chemistry, but fell in love with your energy because it remind them of the old pattern of cycles that they've been with either with you or old pattern of cycles of light workers in the past. I had a, 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 another reading that was like with the past life, but anyway... So that's where the energy vampire come from. Energy vampire comes from this person is wanting to come and tap into your energy because it's something about your energy that reminds them. Reminds them 
of past times, past cycles, but also the into your energy, this particular old soul could be going through some things in this lifetime, not learning the lessons, not seeing what they need to see. They should maybe um, having a hard time and then pop, poop, here you come, light worker, catalyst coming into their life tapping in and they feel this energy and awaken something in them. It makes them feel alive that they start to fall in love with not just you. It's not you. It's your energy. And it's the, the energetic pull, the energetic energy. And it's the, your soul, their soul recognizing who you are, um, who you are, who you are energetically and um, just tapping into that. And in a lot of cases, a lot of you didn't know who you were energetically, but this person did. This person knew who you were and tapped into your energy. And once they tapped in, it was a done deal. It took it. They, they knew they had a taste of who you, you didn't know who you were, but they did. They knew who you were when they tapped into your energy. Okay. And they're doing black magic because they want your energy, okay? They want your energy. That's point blank and period. They want it. This is about wanting, siphoning your energy, getting back in your, your aura, getting back to you. Because it is something about you, it's something about your aura, something about your energy that this person needs. They're doing black magic because you're protected, okay? They're doing black magic to cipher your energy, but they have not, they have been unsuccessful. So by them being unsuccessful, that drives them even, even harder to get it. They want it. And at this point, they are obsessed to get it. They're trying to do whatever they can. If they got to do um, candle, uh, uh, do rituals, they paying people to to get it to to try to um you know lower your lower your to to make you low vibrational trying to attack you excuse me trying to attack you so you can be low vibrational once you low vibration low vibrational they can try they can cipher your energy you have to learn no matter what it, they try to project no matter what they try to do, you have to raise your vibration, lift your vibration, elevate your mind. And all this black magic, what is it? Okay. You want to come attack my channel? Okay. You want to try to attack me? Okay. But that ain't going to change my mind. I know who I am. I know who I am. I know what I stand for. I know what's in my heart. You're not going to change me. You're not going to change me. You're not going to break me. You're not going to bend me. I'm not to be broken. And if you were able, if you were able to do it, believe me, ritual, day after day after day, people are building rit rituals to try to stop me and block me. My haters is fierce but I'm just as fierce. I'm one step ahead of you. And when you think you won, uh-uh-uh, not me. You got the right one. And if I was you, I would leave me alone. If I was you, I really would. I would, because I know who you are. And if I was you, I would leave me alone. Yeah. All right. So protect it. Protect it. All day long. Protect it. Still standing. After all the stuff I've been through, still standing. And gonna stand. Okay? So this, uh, this is how you have to be. You got to know that you know that you know. When you being attacked like this, you got to know what you know, honey. You can't let nobody try to 
tear you down and make you think this and make you no no ma'am you'll be towed down broke down and disgusted messing around with me because what you reap you shall sow and i bet that on everything i've asked people to leave me alone but y'all keep on keep on bothering me not a problem i love it I love it when a plan come together because the more you ride me, the more I'm going to develop, the more I'm going to rise. I'm unstoppable. All right. So, and I said all of that because if this is happening to you, you're unstoppable too. It's nothing that's coming out my mouth that's not made out of you. You just got to believe it. You got to change your mindset. Fear is an illusion. It's not, fear is not nothing. You can't have fear when people are attacking you. You got to know. You got to stand up and you got to go with, go with the punches, okay? You can't have fear. Now, what do you need to do about this? Spirit says love. So spirit says love. If you're being attacked, somebody coming after you, won't leave you alone. This soul, lonely soul, hunting you, trying to run you down, trying to love. Love conquers all. Love. Be around, go around people who love you. Who truly love you. Not the fake phony people trying to pretend and act like they love you. They don't even know who they are. How can you love me and you don't love your own self? How can you love me when you're selling your soul to the devil? How can you love me? You can't love me. You don't love you. You're selling your own self out. Not them. People who truly, truly love you. And I'm not just talking about family because family can sell you out too. I'm talking about people, your soul fam, people that's real, people that's going to be there for you, people that's going to uplift you. Now, a lot of you say, well, I ain't got nobody like that. If you don't, not a problem. Self-love. If you ain't got nobody that's going to ride, that's going to ride with you, that's your bestie, you ain't got nobody that's going to hold you up or hold you down, not a problem. Do it for yourself. Elevate yourself. Love yourself. Pour into yourself. Self-love is a powerful weapon. A lot of people don't even love themselves. So the ones that have the audacity to love them, to love their self, that's a weapon in itself. It's powerful. If you love yourself... Self-love breaks, breaks, breaks black magic apart. Self-love. So what spirit is saying, and it says, spend time with people who you know loves you. Love conquers all, even black magic. Love conquers all, especially black magic. So... If you find yourself going through this and you feel like you ain't got nobody, you all by yourself and nobody love you, don't believe the hype. Love yourself. The divine loves you. You still standing. You're protected. Your ancestors love you. You got angels. You got, a, you got your own spiritual team. Whether you tap onto them, tap into it, or whether you ask them or acknowledge them, acknowledge them it's up to you. But they there. So you got somebody. There is someone there. You have to tap, you have to tap into your resources. Never ever think that you're alone because you're never alone. All right. All right. So this has been your message. I ain't talked too long. All right. But it is what it is. Okay. So, Cancer, this is your reading. All right. Um, I go blank. This is, this has been your reading. Okay. So hit the, hit the comments. Um, 
Haters, just know if you hit the comments, it's going to be deleted. I'm not going to be bothered with all that foolishness on my channel, okay? So, um, hit the comments. I read all the comments. I uh, want to hear your story. Um, if it resonated, if it didn't resonate, that's fine too. It's timeless. Um, hit an emoji in there. Let me know what you're working with. Thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you didn't. Okay? Thumbs it. Okay, share, 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 subscribe, and social media is in the description box. Did I say, I don't remember, but if this is your first time, go to the description box. All the information is there. All right, so I'm sending, I'm, thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking and watching, and I'm sending love, and I'm sending healing your way, and Trinity is, Trinity is